This is the future. Yo, Brew. Yo, let's go. We got a call. Cool. Let's go. I'm a rescue worker. Yes, can I help you? Hello, sir. Uh, sorry to excuse me, uh, bother you. Uh, I see you're very busy. I'm here for... Check up, sir. Check up. B blood pressure, PP. Yeah. Now, sir, please. Don't mind. I want to do that. Oh, come on, can you see I'm busy? Go to the clinic. Oh, uh, uh, the clinic, uh, the queue is too long. You are so much convenient and I uh, see you don't have anything better to do, so... If you can please help me, uh, uh, and, uh, if the queue wasn't too long, uh, the, the sister at the clinic, she's sending me to you, so I had to... Uh, yeah, always when I'm bloody working. Bloody comics. <sighs> Maybe I should give my guys more work. Clearly they don't have enough to do. I mean, they're not working so hard. Every time I walk into the dressing stations, they're sitting in front of the computers, doing Facebook, YouTube. They don't even know how to use their own equipment. I don't understand it. Why are they always in the office? <sighs> I don't know how they expect me to get through all this work. I wish I could clone myself and have some help doing all of this. Maybe then, I wouldn't have to give up my private time, at home, doing work that I'm supposed to do when I'm at work. Well, isn't this nice? What the? Hey! It worked! Seems like it. How can I help you? I would like to divide the work that they give us every month. I mean, the people at work think that we are sitting around all day doing nothing. <laughs> That's true. Hey, awesome. Three clones. I will help you guys too. Looking at this shit, you will never get through this in a month. Not even with time management. They think we've got 30 days. <laughs> They're fucking crazy. We only work 15 days out of the study, and out of those 15, only half of it is day shifts. <laughs> what ignorance. Well, let's get started. I will divide the work. Looking at this paper, let's see. I will do the monthly combined report on fire marshal, as it is my monthly responsibility. I will make the certificates and I will write the report. I think I will also handle the 9 to 15 chronics that keeps on pitching into the station even though the clinic is open. And you know, the worst is they always come in between the times when we are supposed to be doing handover, checking vehicles or checking the equipment which is between 6 and 9 in the morning. And then, when you tell them you're busy, they've got a freaking attitude. Because they think we're there only for them. And when they say jump, we have to say how high. Yeah, you know it, that's so true. Well, looking at this, I think I will do the storeroom inspection, the PPE inspection, the fire prevention audit, the inspections of the fire extinguishers, the hydrants, the first aid box, and then come back to the PC, write all the reports, and send it to the relevant people. And don't forget the photos. Oh shit, that too. And you number three, what will you be doing? Well, 
I will do the four in-house trainings with the reports, including the photos. Cool. But guys, should we go and check the vehicles quickly? Check the equipment? Maybe wash them? What? Are you out of your mind? When do you think we're supposed to do that? When we have all this bloody work to do? Even with three, you can hardly get through. Yeah, are you out of your mind? Clearly you're forgetting about the two SOPs that we need to review every month. And the nine PTOs that we have to capture. Fuck, that too. And please don't forget, you also have to capture the data on not one, but two different platforms. And don't forget to put the tracking numbers on. And don't forget, this is only for the client. Our boss, for the company that we work for, clearly decided that we're not doing enough work. So they added their shit on top of this. Now we have to do two in-house trainings and two PTOs extra and capture that on a third platform. That too. <sighs> Just great. The one that our principal thinks that we are the best IT medics in the world. Because we're always sitting in front of the computer. What they don't realize is they are the ones keeping us in front of the computer the whole day. <laughs> so funny. But their work keeps us in front of the PC. That's what I just said. And let's not forget, if we do get a call while we are busy with all of this, our whole day is fucked. Because now we have to waste three hours, about 15 to 10 minutes to do the call, two hours, two and a half hours to do just the paperwork. And don't forget, capturing the patient on the system and doing the incident reports and all of those niceties that goes with it. That's true. You get one IOD, the call takes maybe five minutes, and then you sit with about three hours worth of paperwork. Not mentioning having to capture the patient, putting an incident report, the rest of your day is stuffed. And then they wonder, why are we sitting in front of the computer all day? Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za we can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers